okay yes yeah so mm -hmm. first step is this one okay now once you make it complete in developer instance second step so this is very important step so please see this one okay i will show you two changes here so first let's say go back to in progress save it okay so this is how it is when it is in progress see these options three options okay now once i say complete okay save it see options in related list like there is one added export to xml okay so once it is complete it will allow you to export it into a file so click this option export to xml okay when you once you export to xml the file the particular configurations that you did as part of your development the update set to not only one more all so let's say i captured 100 updates 100 customizations all will be update uploaded as an xml file okay so this is an xml file dot xml file okay you exported it you downloaded it exported okay means downloaded it as an xml file so this is the second step is that clear what's in the file sorry so what's in that file what is there in i will i will show you tomorrow okay it will take a lot okay. of time yeah uh, it's a important okay. question i will cover it tomorrow yeah please okay yeah so what uh, maybe in a simple way what is there in that file is the co configurations whatever we did the development th those configurations will be stored in that file these two these two okay in a simple okay. way right now the third step is so we are done with the developer instance okay we develop we developed it we got the file now we go to test instance or other instance okay so this is our other instance so to this instance we need to move okay here just to go to update sets okay not local update set but retrieved update sets just click this retrieved update sets okay so go to other instance or test instance okay hit retrieved update sets okay third step okay once you click the retrieved update set you have one option called import update set from export uh, xml there in dev you exported here you are importing so click this one so let me write it here okay import update set from xml just click it so when you say that it will ask you to browse for that xml file which xml file we need to point we need to point the file that you downloaded there to this one okay point it and upload it okay ma so far what we did you seen it ma everyone it is, is that simple nothing we mm -hmm. captured in update set we made it complete and then we exported to a xml file and then we went to the other instance and there we seen uh, an option called retrieved completed update set okay retrieved update sets and then there we have an option to retrieve the xml file load the xml file that's what we loaded it till this point everyone clear yes sir okay now here you see in loaded loaded in the sense not applied okay you just got that file into other instance okay, loaded first thing once you load once you loaded now import xml file xml open this one okay so now once you load it okay you see first check is you see the customer updates to came or not correctly okay this is my update set with two updates okay i am completely satisfied okay so now it is with the loaded state then once it is loaded once you verify properly preview it okay preview second option okay what exactly will be done using preview i will uh, maybe explain it tomorrow but here we see in something very a uh, nice error okay preview update set okay we need to see as many errors as possible okay in order to know subject deeply right so it is saying previewed preview is something like a validation you are applying some changes before applying system will validate whether you can apply or you need to do something so here it validated it and it is giving some kind of error what is that error we'll just see see here it is telling you that out of two okay there is an issue with one update set 
and the one update set also given detail down here okay and it is telling you that okay see this one more see this uh, note this particular error maybe this is very very important one to understand okay so error don't scare it is very simple okay it is showing me something like found a local update that is newer than this one okay it is telling you that okay you are applying something but it is already newer one there is already newer newer version is there in this system and you are trying to apply older version that is what it is telling okay so simple let's say you are installing microsoft office okay you have two versions in your system office 2010 is there on top of it you are installing 2007 will it install no no why it won't install it will tell like uh, it will tell like it's already there a new system is already having a newer version you are installing mm -hmm. a older version okay similarly here also the system is telling you it's already having a newer version on top of it you are trying to update a older version okay this is what the error is now we need to see whether we need it or not so compare with local okay see this one okay so when you say compare with local the four options are also very important okay i will show you local means the update that is there in test remote means the update that is coming from dev okay so someone asked me what is there in that xml that what is there is like the configuration data will be there in the xml so this is where your xml is coming from and this is where the xml that is there already in the system for that particular record dictionary record so you need to compare it so just to drag it and see the difference somewhere some difference would be there okay so let's see what is the difference uh, 32 32 reference qualifier active equal to active equal to none none use dependent use dependent same simple simple i till i till i didn't see any difference active true active true users it's already there i think uh, our uh, our uh, shila garu applied already right shila garu you already applied this particular uh, reference qualifier right active equal to true your instance Ah, I did, sir. You did. So, system is telling you that the same thing is already there, but it didn't show you any difference. Okay. So, this is what you have it, and this is what I am get. I am trying to upload from my my instance. So, I couldn't see any difference. But we know what this particular change is doing, right? So, initially this would be empty, but she did manually. Okay. So. It is fine to skip or it is fine to accept it. So see here, we compared it to understand, okay, what is what is going on. Right now, it's our call whether I need to accept it or I can skip it. If I accept it, it will again override. It will skip it means this particular update will not apply. Okay, out of two, one will not apply. One will be applied okay so so if one is sir if one is not applied it won't be tested it's already there now you did manually so why we need to apply again the filter is already there again if we apply if you don't apply means it will be same now okay in this particular instance what we are currently testing it this is the behavior mm -hmm. but in real time however the dev is the test also will be so it will not be there active equal to true will not be there in test we won't be doing any manual changes in test you got it huh? okay okay got it sir but uh, if if we did already if we uh, if we tested two active equal to trues will it be applied sir or it won't be applied it will be applied my if i say accept equal to no you could hear it will be overridden so i will i will discuss something called versioning tomorrow okay, okay. but as per this current situation okay that that particular uh, requirement is already there and it is giving that okay you already did something and which is a newer do you want to skip it or accept it i compared it i didn't see any change then i am taking it as accept it now i can skip also functionality wise i can skip also but i am accepting it okay so loaded is completed preview is completed last action is commit okay commit means you are actually applying the changes to test instance so far you didn't apply 
you just loaded you just validated now you are committing it so commit once you commit it okay now the changes are applying to test okay means the other instance committed state equal to committed okay now the actual changes are applied to test instance now you can test it once 